In this video I wanted to do a quick demonstration on the value of using heat and or cold when you're troubleshooting circuit boards and or LCD displays. Now a lot of times you'll have a circuit board like this you may have an intermittent problem on it somewhere and it's maybe hard to isolate. I find that by taking a heat gun and or freeze spray sometimes freezing or heating certain parts of the board will cause an intermittent problem to get worse or to get better and that's the technique I've been using for years now and another good use of freeze spray and or heat is in troubleshooting LCD displays. Now here's one that just came in here a little while ago. It's actually looking a lot better than it was when it first came in. It had all kinds of vertical and horizontal lines going across it and uh, one of the first things I, I used to do in the past is I'd take freeze spray real quickly and I'd freeze the edges of the display and I'd see if I could get the problem to get any worse or any better. You can see there it got a whole lot worse. And on the other hand, I could take this uh, heat gun, or hair dryer actually, heat it up. It doesn't always take much. <laughs> Let's see here. Well, you can see, you can see the improvement. There we go. I, I'd have to do it for a while. Now, I don't know if that's because it's, it's got a problem with the display or some humidity got in the connectors where it connects to, connects to the edge of the display. Probably an issue with the display. But uh, <clears throat> now this lady had this in a cold environment. And so uh, she just brought it into a warmer environment. And that causes some condensation as well. So I just thought I'd do a real quick video on that. Um, sometimes these problems are easier to figure out than uh, tearing the TV apart. Although I may have to go there uh, in this case just to verify that it isn't a connector problem. Anyway, that's all I've got to show right now. Thanks for watching. As always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up.